All right, on the bench we have a unit in PC-66. I thought I'd do a video on this because you don't really see too many of these online. Uh, not that they're a super rare radio, but uh, you just don't really uh, see too many of them. But um, you can compare this to a PC-68 or a Cobra 25, but this is just a better made, uh, better quality parts um that goes into this um this version so this belongs to mike up in the great state of maine he had previously sent me in two radios that were unfortunately uh, not repairable well well one was um just super expensive to repair and the other one was um it was very tough to find components and um just um yeah just uh, a nightmare but anyway uh, i'm happy that i could um repair this uh, radio for him he also has another radio here that i'll be doing a video on but uh to get back to this pc66 you can see that it's uh, kind of seen better days cosmetically uh, i got a layer of um like dust some um yeah just the chrome is a little discolored got a couple of uh spot or two here and there but i think the majority of that will come out with a good uh, cleaning and polishing he also mailed in this front decal for the radio which is going to help uh, make the radio look a little bit better and he also wants that mic wired to it which this is a four pin unless somebody wired this up to another four pin this should be um that should be wired up to this unit and but, uh, yeah, I mean, it seems to, uh, the controls are very, very stiff. So we'll have to clean those up. Uh, I don't know if it uh, transmits or receives yet. Um, but, yeah, these are really, really, they really need to be worked back and forth. Uh, meters stuck, obviously. And the channel display is... Um, missing some segments so i don't know if that's actually the display that's going bad or if it's um the actual uh channel selector so we'll see this rotary switch here yeah but uh yeah let's get this on um See if it actually uh, receives and transmits first before we go any farther. But this here is getting a full service. Um, it's going to get a recap, alignment, um, all the switches cleaned, uh, a physical cleaning. Uh, yeah, so the, the works for this one. And it's uh, he wants to make this into a, a good talking radio, according to his uh, note here. And um, you can. You can really make these into, uh, these are really, really good AM uh, radios. And um, you can really make these things um, a good talking radio. You know, they're no slouch on receive either. So, um, you know, in a nice small package. So, uh, yeah, I like these radios. Um, let's get to it. All right, so the mic the pinout is the same as the uh, radio. So let's see what we got for um, a carrier and see what we got for PEP. All right, yeah, it's a little high. Audio, audio. Yeah, it's uh, it's been modded, no doubt. <whistles> yeah, hitting like twenty almost. Um, let's see, yeah, it's on frequency. Um, you know, within the acceptable uh, range, but I think I can get that dead on. All right. So that's that for uh, transmit, definitely, uh, I'm sure when I open this up, something's either going to be clipped or uh, missing or uh, probably cranked up, turned up all the way. Hopefully it's just the latter of the things and I don't have to go putting in any uh, any pots into this components, but um, we'll, we'll see what happens when we open this thing up. Uh, let's do a receive. All right, it is receiving. That is an S9. Obviously, we can't see if the meter is uh, 
working because it is uh, stuck, but that is an S9. It is receiving, so that's a good thing. But what I'd like to do is uh, go back to transmit and um, put this on the scope and see what's going on um, on the scope before we actually open this up, see how bad it actually uh, how bad it actually is. All right, let me get this back on the dummy load. Stand by. All right, let's check out this this waveform here. That's pretty ugly. Pinched, and um, the top is just just starting to clip. So. Yeah, 19 watts PEP. That's a bit excessive. Um, yeah, can these radios do 18, 20 watts um, PEP? Yeah, with the with the right final, and even then, you're still pushing it. Yeah, you're gonna get yourself an ugly waveform on transmit. Um, you know, you can maybe get that close with like a 1969 final. You know, something something like that, but. Let's go see what's inside of this first, um, based on that waveform and based on the PEP. Um, this has obviously been modded somehow. All right, let's let's get into this. All right, so we have uh, a Toshiba. That's a twenty seventy five final back there. And I know the lighting is a little a little weird, but so that's. Not a, uh, if you want to make something a talker, that's not something that, um, that transistor really isn't the best one to be using. Um, does it work good in a normal application? Sure. Um, but not if you want to make something a really, really great talking radio. When I looked up the data sheet on that Toshiba transistor, the, um, the max output rating for it was 10 watts and the max input was uh, 5 point something, 5.1, 5.2. So, and the way this radio is set up, that transistor is going to have a very short life. Probably the only saving grace to this was that um, it probably wasn't talked on much uh, after somebody had did, you know, had did, done their mods to this um well actually at first glance it didn't look like anything has been modded other than the uh, modulation part had been cranked up all the way so that's the next thing we're going to do is uh, actually uh see if the uh modulation part is in circuit um so if it actually changes then we know nothing has been you know clipped or modified or you know taken out so uh yeah let me um uh, let me get this on um, let me get the microphone, uh, let me get a tone going to it and, um, see if, uh, this modulation pod is in circuit. All right, let me get you guys set up here, uh, where I can use my two hands. Stand by. All right, you got a good view there of the, uh, the oscilloscope. So, let me get a tone. And I'm going to adjust this. There we go. That's more like it. I'd say that's a hundred right there. So that's good. Nothing is uh nothing has been clipped or modified or missing or whatever, so that's that's good. So now what I can do is um well I'll see if the customer wants to upgrade that final to um uh, like a nineteen sixty nine. Um, which is something I would do if I wanted a good talking radio. And I'm sure he's probably going to want to do that. But uh, other than that, I'm going to get this thing recapped. Uh, I'll email the customer and see if he wants to do that um, final upgrade. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to have a good, uh, a good talking radio at the end of this. And not only that, a good listening radio as well. Um, yeah, so I'm going to also see what's going on with this um, channel display and uh yeah we'll take it from there all right let me get let me get working at this thing all right big difference here so radio's finished completely done 
it's recapped, aligned, um, just working great, looking way better. So I got the the bezel there polished. It's not perfect. Um, and on the on the top side there, you got a spot um, that is um, unfortunate, but you know whatever it is, what it is. Got the buttons polished. Got the uh, knobs polished. So it's um, yeah, they're looking good. Full radio's looking good. Um, got the meter freed up. LED in the meter as well. Channel display um, that was faulty, so I put a new channel display in there. Yeah, cleaned up the potentiometers, and uh, this thing is uh, ready to go. But it's um, the customer wanted a good talking radio, and uh, let me tell you, he's got one here. So yeah, here's the caps. Um, as you can see, there's the final. So I had talked to him, and he definitely wanted to change out the final. So you're going to see a big difference um, with the uh, waveform and the uh, PEP. Um, you guys will see here in a minute. But yeah, so there's a, uh, a 1969 final uh, back there. So uh, this thing is tuned pretty damn well. I think to the max um, capability of this radio. Uh, so it's um, it's going to be a good talking, a good listening radio as well. So uh, yeah, GCAL looks good. Um, what else can I say about it other than uh, it's just going to be a good work and radio. Um, so let's get to it. You can see it's uh, all the uh, Nichicon caps. There's a couple of different values there, but uh, uh, there's a couple of different uh, companies. Uh, there's a Nichicon, there's a... Uh, what else did I put in there? Uh, I think there might be a couple of Panasonics in there, but all brand name. But yeah, it's uh, it's looking way better. So let's get to it. Let me um, we'll do the transmit test. You guys are gonna actually see that um, with the same. Uh, I got it to do right around the same wattage uh, as before, but with a way nicer way cleaner looking waveform and uh yeah so we'll uh we'll check that out you can actually get a little bit more out of it if we uh if i raise the carrier up slightly um but i'll explain exactly what i did uh once i get this on the um let me get this on the uh, watt meter in the uh, dummy load and uh we can see what it's doing for power all right stand by all right i got the covers back on I also got some of the rust off of the uh, case screws uh, using that same polish. That makes a big difference, I think, in the uh, overall look. Uh, rusty screws um, kind of takes away from uh, the look of the radio. So, uh, yeah, just a quick polish uh, on the tops of those uh, screw heads makes a big difference. But let's check out our transmit. So... All right, we got that right on. Okay, so now split the difference between the uh, bird. So it's just under, um, just a little bit over four. And there it's like uh, four and three quarters, almost five. That's the, uh, that's your dead key. That's the carrier. All right, so now let's look at the waveform on the scope here. Look at that, just about 20 watts peak. But look at that waveform. So not only did we get a little bit more, I mean, not it's kind of insignificant, but whatever. We got about one more watt out of it. And I could really push this over to 20 uh, if I cranked up that modulation just a little bit more. Um, but in order to maintain a good waveform, uh, maintain good peak, 
uh, PEP power. Um, we're just shy of 20 uh, was where this radio likes to be with that final. So not only did we get a little bit more power out of um, out of this radio, but it's going to sound perfect. That waveform is perfect. And that's what's uh, super important with having a good talking radio that's going to sound great on the other end. And I guarantee uh, once I get this on that, that monitor radio right there, uh, we're going to hear some, uh, we're going to hear a good solid radio. So, yeah, that's, um, it's not, there's no magic to it. I'm not special by any means. Um, but you can get, you know, almost 20 watts PEP uh, out of a 1969 final in this chassis um, without having to crank up the modulation to the point where you have a distorted waveform. Um, you know, this isn't trickery. I'm not tricking anybody. I'm not, uh, you know, what you see is what you get, honestly. So, um, yeah, that's that's how it's done. You want to know how to get a, a good talking radio uh, out of like a Cobra 25 or a unit in you know, PC-66 or anything with that um, board, that chassis in it. Um, get yourself a 1969 final, set it up properly, and uh, you're going to have yourself a good talking radio. Uh, no doubt about it. Um, you know, and that's without clipping anything. That's without cranking up the modulation pot. Um, that's without bypassing uh, the AMC circuit, all, all that stuff that people normally do to get, um, you know, 20 watts uh, out of this particular radio. So that's how it's done. Um, again, nothing special. Just do your alignment, take your time, adjust everything properly, go back, do it two, three times, you know, squeeze out as much as you can. And uh, these are the results you get. You're going to get yourself a good talking radio. Um, just about 20 watts peak with a good waveform on the oscilloscope. Um, you know, it's, it's, you can do it. You can do it. So, all right. Enough said with the uh, transmit. Um, let's get to the uh, receive sensitivity. And then we'll do our, uh, our normal tests. We'll uh, see how it sounds on the monitor radio. And we'll um, see if Skip's coming in. All right. Stand by. All right, we're on channel 19, obviously, um, S9. All right, channel 19, it's an S9, so we're right on. All right, let's see what it's doing for sensitivity. Minus 100, minus 110, minus 111, 112 minus 112 yeah minus 112 so that's that's a really good listening radio as well you know really really good just a good performing radio all right so uh let's go on to our um monitor radio see how it sounds on the other end and then um Go on here. All right, stand by. All right, guys, we're on channel 18 here. It's uh, kind of a busy day out there. 19 is uh, skip all over. So 
we're on channel 18. Let's see how this thing sounds. Let's make sure everything is... Alright, we're good. Check, check, check. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Our audio. Checking out this audio on this unit in PC-66. I think we're sounding really good here. This is a good sounding radio right here. Good talking radio. I think the customer's going to be happy with this one. Yeah, definitely going to be happy with this one. That is a good sounding radio. We have ourselves a talker here. Pretty good. Pretty good sound in PC-66. Testing out this unit in PC-66 with an static microphone. Yeah, sounding really good. Sounding really good. This is uh, one of the better sounding uh, AM radios that I've uh, put together, I guess. Crystal clear on the other side. Yeah, this is going to be a really, really good talking radio. Yeah, I'm really happy with this one. All right, guys, I think that's it for our uh, transmit tests and our uh, monitor radio tests. So uh, let's see what's going on out on air. Do some channel surfing. All right, stand by. All right, let's see what's going on out there. Three twenty, Boston, Massachusetts, waving. Three twenty, Boston, Massachusetts, waving. Alright guys, I'm going to end it here. So, there you have it. Unit in PC-66. Sounding good. Thanks for watching.